Once I have Thor's out, the Muta Harass becomes infinitely harder. At this point, I just have to sit back and head towards Hive. I'm not going to be able to do anything. You do want to stay active with your Mutas, but it's not likely to amount to much. You're just looking for opportunities, and you don't want to force anything. You just end up losing too much. He's attacking too early. His economy hasn't really kicked in. And my hive isn't near completion. Those tanks are still really strong, so I gotta be careful, but he wants to wait longer in this. I also have investors on the way, which will help. I don't know if he's just gonna try and leapfrog up in, or if he's just sitting there, or what. I'm not sure why he backed off. He, he could break that. I guess he's just trying to secure that base or something. But he's sitting there unsieged. I have no idea what this guy's doing. That was just catching him on siege. If you can ever engage a Terran army in this situation on siege, you're likely to win, even if it's at a point in the game where you shouldn't really be winning battles. Being siege is incredibly important to a Terran army, especially against families like that. So now I have Rude Lords on the way. And since he's still off three base, he should have quite a few units but no economy, so I'm just going to sit back and wait for the Rude Lords to be safe. I might be able to kill him, but it's not worth the risk. Drop, it's not really going to do anything. He can leave at any time, so just gonna close him out. At some point he's going to have to unseize his tanks or he's going to keep killing all his stuff and when he does that I'll run in and finish him off. Or he can just let the tanks kill everything. That works for me too. Uh, he's lost enough stuff that I can go now. 